Everyone, how's it going? Let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup here in 2020 with our mummy wizard of Gozag. So, um, luckily, my good buddy... E nonsense was telling me that I have a trick in my arsenal that can help me make some progress here, and that is by using Conjure Flame to greater effect. He was explaining that you can actually cast Conjure Flame twice, and then it catches you on fire, but you get like a double flame cloud, maybe? Now, because I picked up this ring of um, fire resistance, I can take that hit, and then what I can do is use... Um... Oh, where's my spell? Um, Lesser Beckoning to pull enemies into the flames. So I'm going to actually memorize Lesser Beckoning. I'm going to try this, and I'm going to see if this can be something else that I add that helps me not die instantly. So, the job is to maybe explore a little bit. Alright, so here's a death yak. Oh, he didn't follow me up. That's bizarre. So let's find a different staircase. Okay, here we go. And let's just pull one Death Yak. Oh, I miscast my Flame Spell. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to blink away, or attempt to blink away from this dude. And then we're going to summon some Snakes, and we're going to blast him. And then I'm going to just Conjure Flame twice, and let him stand in the fire for a moment. I'm going to sting him. And he's getting poisoned. Let me look at him. I don't know why he's not getting poisoned by my sting. He doesn't say that he's immune to poison. Or even resistant to poison. Oh. Hello. Wrong spellcaster. I'm trying to sting and I'm using magic dart. Whoops. Alright. This is not a poisoner. This is just a wizard. Okay, that's that's a different character. Enon, what's up, man? I'm doing your strategy that you just talked about. I'm I cast double cast conjure flame, and I got my lesser beckoning. And I'm gonna see if it can help me take some of these dudes out. Oh, I see. So so what that does is it make it makes it so they can't step on it to put it out. Like if they're already adjacent to you. Oh, cool. That's cool. That's actually pretty helpful. Thank you for that tip. That makes sense. All right. So, I'm going to swing at this, dude. And, um, my snake obliterated him with my axe. So, let's just see if we can replicate that. So, I'm going to blink away. And blink away. Here we go. And then, let me summon an imp and move over here. And then just, um, I guess I don't need to do it in this case. And then I can just, um, yeah, you're right, dude. Blink will help with that, especially since I got far enough away this time. So I'm going to just blast him with dart and then stand here and hit him with my axe. Okay, that's working pretty well. Yeah, you know what I think I needed was just um, your, like, vote of confidence about Conjure Flame and just reimagining it as a more effective spell. Because I was, like, leaning so hard on Mephitic Cloud, which is awesome, don't get me wrong, um, but it doesn't work all the time, and it's not necessarily damage. It actually isn't damage. It just lets you do damage, perhaps, without getting hit. 
All right, let me clear out some of the rest of these death yaks. Okay, here we go. Got one coming at me. I actually don't have a great place to fight this guy. No, I can do it right here. This is fine. And if he hits me too hard, um, I can just back away. All right. Yeah, the cool thing is, because I have my um, vampiric weapon, I mean, I healed for four right there. Then I could just step away. Um... And I'm not going to fight this dude just yet. I'll go ahead and go up the steps and heal up. And then fight him at a later date. Let me look at my spells now. Pretty good. Pretty good. My fail rate's getting really acceptable with this shield on. Hmm. <laughs> I pushed the Q button, going to check my potions, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. No potions for me. All right, where'd you go, buddy? Here he is. All right, let's just bring him back here. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we can kind of clean through some of these dudes a little bit more. Efficiently, I guess I'll call it. All right. Komodo. All right. So the Komodo doesn't like being confused. Magic mapping is nice. All right. I don't have a great place to put fire for this guy. Um, I guess I have like a digging scroll. Let me get him off the screen. Or I mean, I have a wand of digging. There we go. He petrified my imps instantly. That's pretty funny. Man, this dude is no... I thought maybe he would get confused. Uh-oh. Now nah, this plan is backfiring. Mm, might be dead. Might be dead here. Um... My last gasp would be can't cancel because mummy. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Um, I can't clouds. I could teleport and then like appear someplace as a statue but I've explored so little of this level I just have to hope that he can't kill me as a statue like he can't do enough damage I don't know how likely that is now actually I 
What's up, Snack? Can I potion petition? Is there a chance to get cancellation as an effect on a potion petition? Um... Well, maybe healing would be enough. I mean, doesn't my armor class go up when I get turned into, um... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to turn on the bot. What if I jump up here? What if I blink scroll up here? Well... Will that give me enough turns to bef to come out of the petrify? It would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven turns or something. Well, that's the, I think that's the best bet. It's better than just standing right here. I wonder if I should um, also put down like a mephitic cloud like right in front of me so that there's a chance he gets confused coming up to hit me or use my wand of clouds to put some kind of deterrent this way. That would be bad. Are wands noisy? Do they make noise? Or is it just um, the spell that makes noise? Like if I, if I use a wand of clouds, let's say, and like maybe it puts down poison or something like that, would that be noisy? And would it last long enough to deter this guy? I get one action, right? Um... Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just see if, like, maybe if I spray it down here. Oh, he got confused. He's still hitting me. And I'm free. <laughs> he's, quote, confused, but he's still coming after me. Uh, I'm going to blink away. All right. Okay, so we made it out of that. Is the correct play to just run to the staircase, or should I try to finish this dude off? You mean they're a little bit more dangerous when confused than they used to be? Interesting. Yeah, they seem that way. I mean, it's still good, obviously, but... Wow. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like they try to... Um, they try to actively move towards you and hit you way more than they used to. All right, there he is again. I'm going to try to confuse him because at least he probably won't use his calcifying dust if he's confused, is my hope. still confused he is a tough 
a tough nut to crack. Yeah, you're right. The uh, hallway I dug to get him in the fire was my undoing last time. <laughs> uh, I confused him, but he almost killed me. All right. Can we get the hit that we need on this dude, people? Take him down, snakes. Oh, my God. He's just still wrecking me. All right. This guy is like the bane of my existence. He will not die. He is refusing to die. All right. Yep, and his dust, he just continues to fire it, and... It Oh my god. I thought I cast Blink. I miscast Blink. What is my ca chance on this? 3%. Alright. Now I'm pretty much dead. Um, I can't even see the guy. Alright. I don't think I have a choice but to just teleport. Okay, I got lucky. <laughs> oh, good lord. This is, though, just like clear evidence that I need some more with this character. I don't have a nuke that's reliable enough to kill things. Even confusing that guy, he's not impressed. I can't finish him off. So I gotta figure out... Something. Hey, what's up, Rabbit Vermin? It was really close. I thought I was dead the second petrification. I did not count on miscasting the blink. Um, yeah, you're right. They really are. Those 17 arrows are huge, though. Yeah, you're right. I'm just being too stubborn. I think you've got a great point there, Snack. I'm just being too stubborn and trying to kill him. Um, and there's really no reason to do that. We'll get him eventually. Alright, this is a lot of yaks. I'm just going to calmly walk away from these yaks. I'm just going to get the staircase up, or at least get connected to it again. Boy, this yak is on me. He doesn't care about confusion one bit. Alright. To be honest, though, I'm going to just bring this guy with me. I know he can do a lot of damage to me, but once... Wow, Rabid Vermin, that's amazing. Yeah, you can, um, it's nuts how good, you know, being able to just spam powerful spells is with Mummy in terms of spell hunger. Menace will do that. He likes to eat casters for breakfast. Yeah, good news. There's, yeah, isn't that funny? So it's like they're taking out spell hunger, the one thing that Mummy had, 
and giving mummy nothing in return. All right. Let me bring this guy over here. Okay. Got him. All right, so how am I doing now with my spells? Now we're really, really getting there. Let me go down the steps. I think I might want to probably, you know, go back over to the Orcish Mines at some point and try to handle some of that to see if I can get my hands on a spell book. It, because what you're talking about, Rabid Vermin, with your domination is something I'm missing because I don't even have an expensive nuke that I want to spam. Like, I have 26 MP, no spell hunger, <laughs> and my, my most expensive spell is third level. Anyway. Let me read my scroll of identify on this sp scroll of holy word ah there you go all right i gotta drop this holy word scroll that's not what i want to see Okay. Ah, oh, he smothered the flame. You jerk. Don't smother my flames. All right. Fine. I'm going to bring you all the way back. Well, now we have to fight the Catablipus, so let's just get out of here. That is the second time that I've miscast Blink while inside the Catablipus's calcifying dust. That is a shame. This time it's 2% fail. I think it's an outright lie, those percentages. <laughs> All right, let's run away. <laughs> oh, he does have a hat of magic resistance. Oh, you. Can I make it past him to the staircase? Maybe. All right, jeez. I think I'm going to take that as my sign to go back to the Orcish Mines. I know that Sonya is here, but she seems less dangerous than some of the stuff that I was just facing. At least in this situation. Um, hit her with a hex wand like paralysis. Does she get wrecked by it? Oh, yeah, she don't like it at all. I just have to worry about this ugly situation where, um, you know, there's this guy with a pole arm down here. I'm going to take the wizard up. Oh, the Unseen Horror is still here. That's right. 
That's terrific. You mean I might die going down the steps to Sonya or the guy with the halberd? Right. She might be. I don't know what I can do about that. Um, yeah, that's not good. Um, you think evoking flight will help? I'm just teasing. Uh, that's right. There's Urg on that level too. So I'm just kind of like getting into this cycle where um, there's really, really hard enemies all over the place. And I'm running out of ways to deal with them. All right. So she's got three javelins left at least. Yeah, her, her jabs are gone now. Banked me really hard there. Yeah, I'm going to need to for sure. Um, oh, come on now. I mean, look at this. She's confused and she's followed me step for step. Step for step. I mean, does Confuse do anything? Like, is there a chance? Nope. Nope, it does nothing. Every... St I confused her, and she followed me step for step every single path down here. I'm not impressed at all with what that spell is supposed to be doing. So you can have um, this. <laughs> Even then, she was confused, and she walked straight into me to attack. Now, you can say she has a 33% chance to not be confused, um, but that would mean that she rolled six consecutive one out of threes, which 17, 8, 4, 2, 1. There's a 1% chance that she would do that. And that's given 33% chance instead of 25% chance. I suppose you have to add in the factor that she can move in any of the, the nine adjacent squares to her. But, um, right, exactly. She can still luck into that, but that's a one out of nine roll. And so she's either hitting one out of three consecutively six times in a row or hitting one out of nine consecutively six times in a row. And neither of those mathematically makes any sense that that would happen. But... I guess it's it's still possible. It's just very, very remote. Okay. <laughs> it is XCOM. Look at all those bees. All those bees want to poison and do nothing to me. Um... That's a great question, um, Rabbit Vermin. I already did set up a shop for gold because I was um, I was praying to get a uh, spellbook shop. Like I needed it so badly. I got the jewelry shop. Yeah, as Snack's saying, you most of the time you want to have the potions ready, but um, I was like, I'm so desperate to get some kind of edge with this character um and I but I just haven't gotten that yet 
Hmm. <laughs> Here we are again. Playing this game. All right. Come on over here into the flames, my friend. You will love it. All right. Yeah. I think Snack explained it pretty well right there, and I was just desperate. Oh, there's Axe Cop. Amulet of Regen. Ooh, gloves. I don't think I have gloves, do I? It's my first pair of gloves, everybody. This is the item I was looking for to get over the hump. Terrific. All right. What is invisible and is fighting the yaks? I mean, I'm assuming it's an unseen horror, but but it's. I wonder why it hit the yak. Something hit the yak, or was it? Be is there a chance that um because the yak was confused, it attacked it. And so now it's aggressive to the yak, or can the enemies never lose neutrality to themselves unless you enslave them or something? Anyway. Oh, that's a great point about lesser beckoning, Enon, since I forgot about that. Lesser beckoning. Pull that guy into the flames. There's no monster infighting, so even if a monster, like, accidentally hits another monster... It's all cool between monsters. That's funny. I will shoot these magic darts forever. Okay, that, that acid uh, actually did the job on me. Yeah, it's time to run away. Never mind. Forget what I said. Can I out, um... Can I outrange him, though? Um... With Magic Dart? Like, does his acid have the same kind of range that, uh... Like, the Wand of Acid has? Oh, okay. Spit Acid. Range... One, two, three, four, five, six... So I think I can, right? Oh, the red number in parentheses is range. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, if the number's... Wow, I didn't know it was color-coded to determine if you're in range of it or not. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks for that tip. That's sweet. All right, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to leave... Yeah, so it's the same range as my magic dart. I thought maybe it behaved like um, the player Wand of Acid. All right. <laughs> oh goodness gracious all right let's go ahead and go down the steps again i mean i can't see invisible 
So unseen horrors are unfortunate. I do have an axe. I wonder when it becomes, you know, the play to just take my chances against whether or not Sonya is on the steps. Or adjacent to the steps, rather. Oh, in that... Oh, where there's gold surrounding right here? Do you think it's a... Like a Gozag altar? Well, anyway, I'm going to go to it. That's a great idea. Well, I really, really hope that it's um, a shop. Oh, E-Nonsense, I keep forgetting, dude. You're right. My lesser beckoning. By the way, I'm just going to pick up these javelins. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, give me all these javelins. <laughs> I need... <laughs> I know, I'm sitting there just firing magic dart, doing like one damage to that guy. I mean, javelins are like 10 times better than my magic darts at this point. Oh, that was too smart. I can't... I can't beat a play like that. That was a professional move there from... Aw, oh, the Sky Beast. Now, I didn't need this intrusion, dude. Maybe it was actually a Sky Beast that was invisible. Could have been. Hey! What's up, Mark? No problem, man. My pleasure. I've been having such fun um, playing Dungeon Crawl and learning from uh, everyone else. I can't believe how much my Dungeon Crawl game has expanded just getting to talk to other people who are have played the game more and with more skill than I have. I used to basically just play melee and now... I can use Mephitic Cloud like it's a good friend of mine. All right. Let's get this guy. Uh-oh. We got some problems here. Okay, perfect. All right. Here you go, E-Nonsense. I'm bringing him in. Um. I tried to bring him in. Did he step back with his halberd? Anyway, he's dead. Oh, we got some boomerangs. It was. It was no problem. Just used the... Oh, man, great, Mark. That's awesome. Yeah, um, Draconians are really, really good, too. Well, good luck. I really hope you get that win. Um, let me know how it goes. Let me know, like, what spells you get later that work for you well. All right, this is way too ugly for me. Oh, I blinked the other way. Well, I guess that's a possibility. Oh, because they want to poison me, and I don't care about poison, is what you're saying. There you go. Thank you for reminding me of that. I was, like, getting afraid like I normally do with tougher, ugly things. It's a shop. You were right. Praise the sun. And it's a jewelry shop. Um, and it's a bad jewelry shop. But at least we found it. Um, I 
You know what? I think that's actually a pretty good point. Let me look at myself. Because I'm doing so much more melee right now and playing like a hybrid, I really think you're 100% correct. And I need to start... Um, thinking of my character in that way. What am I even wearing? I have a plus six ring of strength and then my... Um, It's true. It would make me, though, have to uh, take off, you know, my ring of strength. I'd have to see how it affected my spell casting. Oh, okay. Cool. I guess you're right. I'm not wearing heavy armor. Yeah, I don't need to worry about encumbrance. All right. Let's go ahead and put on... Well, I got to read a remove curse, huh? Yeah, you're right about that. Okay, so now I have a little bit more of a chance to survive um, a direct hit by an enemy. All right, Yax, come on over. I've got a hallway right here for you. Don't get confused. There we go. Come on into the flames. There is something pretty satisfying about the idea of just zoinking these enemies like right into the fire it's pretty funny give me one second let me turn the uh, music back on here to restart Spotify. I don't know what it's doing, but it's not working. You were? Well, I'm not getting it. That's outrageous. That's weird. All right. Okay, I turned it back on. Oh, I figured out. I figured it out. Uh, my headphones became unplugged. That's that's funny. I was like, oh my god, Spotify just crapped out on me. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. Case closed. All right, want a flame? Treat me right. There we go. Wanda Flame. You know what? It's, I think that's a great question, Mark. I've really debated, like, what's the right kind of music for this game? <laughs> because I feel like I want music with it. Oh, is um, Twitch launching a free music, like a program or something, that non-copyrighted music or something that streamers can use? Is that what it is? I would love that. Hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because, like, the problem, or when it, what's funny is, like, this music, I have permission from 
the guy who makes this playlist and makes most of these songs to use it. But it's still like some people have it copyrighted. And so uh, I opened up a Facebook gaming page yesterday and I put a video from stream on there. And because one of the songs on this playlist is copyrighted, they deleted my account. Um, <laughs> they have a much more aggressive uh, policy, apparently. So, no more of that. They will allow fake news and misinformation, but if somebody plays a lo-fi video game music remix, you are in trouble. Yeah, it's really weird. It's such like a nebulous space because even um, YouTube gets fishy about it. I've gotten copyright notifications for violation on music from both um, a Mario Brothers game that I was playing and Civilization VI. And it's like, well, okay. Um... It's such a gray area, like what they allow for gaming. Whose property it is, you know. Yeah, they are. I mean, and it makes sense. But most game companies, they are cool with it because it's like free promotion for their game to be on, you know, have content about it. So they're fine with it. There's a strange disturbance nearby. Oh, I believe it. There's some songs on this playlist that are um, Final Fantasy... Like, redos or whatever, and... Uh, I got in trouble for, uh, not in trouble, they just said that you're using Aerith's theme on this one, like, two-minute block or something. Oh, Mark, there you go. Um, so if I could have, um, the ideal music for this game, I feel like it would be something, I could see it going two ways, like, medieval style RPG music or you could have like real ambient dungeon-y <laughs> quest for the holy grail <laughs> yes exactly that music that would be perfect Nope. Okay, I'm going to get killed by this unseen horror. Well, this experiment didn't go well. Oh, boy. Well, I used a snake. Mark, what music do you think would be good for it? Um, or what it, What does anybody want for this game in terms of music? I mean, I know a lot of people just want to play it silent or pick their own music, but I feel like it could do with some kind of soundtrack. Oh, dude. Yeah, if you have anything... I love the idea of setting up a studio, by the way. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to figure out a way to kill this dude. What 
Where is he? I guess he made it through the fire. Oh, he's right on me. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't miscast Conjure Flame. Not now. Not like this. All right. I'm just going to get out of here. Yeah, Mark, you get that studio set up and there's any kind of, you know, music you feel. I'm interested to hear anything. I keep playing the same playlist and I've looked, you know, thinking about expanding, but I just don't want to get hit with any kind of copyright. I, I'm going to look into uh, what Snack was saying about the Twitch copyright like uncopyrighted music that people can use just because I like to have some background music oh there's a tool for it like I can just install it as a onto my stream or something cool well dude that's a pro tip I think I'm going to um Oh, you got to be on a beta wait list. Okay, well, you know, yeah, I've got I've got so many connections. I'll, I'll be on the beta wait list in two or three years. All right, let's go ahead and go to the Orcish Mines. Okay, so Sonya isn't by the steps. Um, oh, that's sweet, e nonsense. Oh, that makes sense because your uh, your icon on YouTube is that DJ. I just didn't know you did DJing. That's sweet. Yeah, I love. I would love some rights cleared music. I teach um, English, Mark. I'm an English professor. I was just grading papers earlier today. So what we are praying for Yeah, no, your um your icon on YouTube, e you nonsense, know, is that like DJ, you know, got the headphones on. Um Dude, I wish, Enonsense, I wish I could give you the, the music control for the channel somehow so you could, like, DJ. Ah. Did she just blink me with her distortion weapon? Yeah, she just blinked me. Fine. Fine, do that, Sonya. I'm gonna try to paralyze her. Oh, we got her. Well, we might actually be able to make some progress here in the Orcish Mines um, because Sonya is dead and we've cleared out a little bit. We still have an Orcish warrior here with a glaive or halberd or something. Um, oh, and we've got dueling Orcish wizards who are making us slow, but other than that, no problem. 
Oh my god, and another this stupid unseen horror. Just ruining my life. Alright, is there Sea Invisible anywhere in this game? No. Okay. I need to, like, lure it away from this spot. <laughs> I love when it's right on you. All right, fine. Caught up to me, huh? Beautiful. Can you come up the stairs? When you say shmups, are you saying smash em ups or like what does that mean? I'm completely out of my element here with that. Shoot em ups. Oh, like twin stick shooter or like a. Or like a shooter like Galaga or something like that. Oh, bullet hell games. Okay. Like 1942? Battle at Midway? Yeah, Raiden's good. I played 1942 and 43 a lot. In the arcade, they were amazing. I would lose so many tokens on those just because... You would get those, like, screen-clearing bombs that you could play. So much fun. We've got ourselves a second chamber over here. Chances I can use my wand of digging to connect them? Probably not very good. I only have like three charges. Oh, weapon shop. What you got? I'm sure that Mace of Anger looks great. I mean, what's the problem? Honestly, should I just buy that triple crossbow of freezing and just cut my losses and completely switch? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm like one spell away. Anybody want to come upstairs? All right. Only one staircase here is pretty harrowing. Yeah, that's not what I want to see. There we go. There's a good blink. All right, let's get some, like, buddies out here. Oh, this dude's... He's back. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Oh, will you get away from me for a second? Alright, there you go, troll. Just relax. You're fine. Alright, let me put out some... 
Yeah, you're right. I should have double casted right there. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, dude, Mark, I just missed your chat from before. <laughs> yeah, you're a chemistry adjunct. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, grading is really rough. And I don't know about your school right now, but um, uh, my college is completely online. So I'm having to like grade everything digitally which it's fine but i just prefer to like collect a paper from a student and then write on it um and now i'm having to use like you know a pdf marker or microsoft word comments and stuff and it's okay but it's just whatever yep i'll be grading tomorrow too i'm gonna brew me a pot of coffee and knock out my next stack of papers You know, I really regret that I didn't take a chemistry class in college. Surprisingly, you don't need that much science when you're an English major. So I took physics. But chemistry is cool. You know, you I did like kinematics up to uh, relativity and so physics you're doing all the big studying but chemistry you get to look at the small stuff it's cool i guess if you do quantum mechanics with physics but i didn't get go that far all right yeah i i like physics in some ways because it's like it's so out there in in certain ways that it's almost like you know, a pseudoscience. I mean, I I don't mean that to be disrespectful in any way. It just it's like it's such it's a bunch of thought experiments. Whereas like chemistry is like you know really really specific information down to the decimal point. Some of the classrooms that I teach in are like also science classrooms and they'll have the periodic table on the wall. I love that. I thought about getting it framed. The periodic table, the discovery of it is like one of the most impressive observations of patterns that I've seen in human history. The fact that it still works and that you can just like insert new elements if they're discovered or created in the lab is amazing. At least to me. I think it's cool. Mendeleev was unreal. Chemistry can get just as nuts, though, sometimes as, like, the physics thought experiment stuff. Um, oh, dude. Nile red and Nile blue? That sounds awesome. I'm going to check it out. I'm writing it down. Yeah, it blows my mind with some of that chemistry stuff where they're, like, talking about elements that come into being in, like, some insanely small fraction of, of time and then leave that they're so unstable, you know? It's like, I don't even know how you are processing that, but okay. Oh, I woke up all these centaurs who were napping. Oh my god. 
This orc warrior with his crossbow is going to make a mockery of me. I just need to... I want to kill Maurice pretty badly here. My snake is doing a great job of poisoning him. Kudos, Mr. Snake. Oh, God. Fine, fine. I'm just making too much noise. And there's too many dudes who have range on me. Yeah, Rabbit, you're right. It's so loud that I'm just making noise, waking everyone up. I might need to petition Potion and just try to get, like, invisibility or a heal or something. <laughs> Unreal. So it's 35 more than the highest observed. That's ridiculous. 45, even. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm going to actually just petition Potion before I die. And um, there's two invisibility options here. Flight, stabbing, invisibility, resistance. Inv invisibility and stabbing but the top option oh my god yeah ignite poison is like a thundercloud it's so loud I'm gonna go with option B and save a little cash or try to I'm just kind of wow that was a sniper shot there I have to go up this staircase, unfortunately, because the other ones are unexplored. You gotta ad admire that guy's gumption for, like, just firing blindly with his crossbow. He has no idea. He's just shooting bolts randomly. All right. Wow, they've set up a real trap for me. I don't know what I'm going to do about this, except just try to use all their ammunition. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. Sure, sure. Can I lesser beckon anybody? Nope. Um, they are. They are the shootiest. Look at that. I almost got killed going up the stairs. Yeah, those two bolts. Well, looks like we've hit an impasse with the orcish mines. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my digging and see how far I can get. We're going for the connection. The rainbow connection. Actually, let's just use magic mapping um, and see how far away it is. Oh, I can make that. Sure. We did it. All right. So now we can at least fight some other orcs and find another way down to Orc 2 that isn't camped out by snipers. I am I mean, I understand, you know, 
they've got a job to do, but it's... Oh, boy. Boomerang Master. All right, guys. It's time to step into the the world of flames. Uh, sure. And this. Um, here, come over here. You can come in here. Um, oh. I am familiar with Warhammer in that um, I haven't actually played the proper game, but I have played computer Warhammer games, and I've played... Um, there's a board game that my buddies and I play called Chaos in the Old World, which is set in the Warhammer universe. And then I've painted some Space Marine figures, but I haven't actually... I bought them just to paint as miniatures, but because I thought they looked cool, but I haven't played the game. Have you played it? Is it fun? Seems sweet. It's basically a blizzard just completely stole the aesthetic. Am I right about that? Oh my god, how many rocks do you have, dude? It looks expensive. He's got two more. Oh my gosh, okay. That was more than I was going for there. He's got one more rock. Do I have a chance of escaping this rock? Oh man, yeah, I love the how the stuff looks I know so the question is I've got po potion petition right but I don't know if I can out heal that I can use my blink spell I don't think Scroll of Fear does anything to this guy. That's hilarious. Yeah, you can spend a lot of money on music equipment, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, mummies... Mummies can't drink, but they can use the potion petition from Gozag mysteriously and to their great benefit. Yeah, it seems like the orcs from Warhammer 40k are basically just what Blizzard used in the original Warcraft and, you know, subsequent iterations. Do, do butterflies block um, large rocks? Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. So was my play here to um, summon butterflies, step behind my snake, use blink or potion petition and hope to get invisibility again, perhaps? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the same way you guys are about the um, the boulder just going through. I mean, I could easily blink to a square that is out of his line of sight. Anything... You know, it's like almost a 50% shot. Anything over here is okay. There's even some tiles over here that would be obscured. I have a chance to block it with my shield or dodge it. But if it hits me, I'm 
pretty much dead. I don't think I can survive it. No, unfortunately, dude, I don't have a scroll of fog. I was looking. I have fear, but I don't think fear is going to work on him. Six percent chance of paralyze. Do the clouds produced by wand of cloud block line of sight? Yeah, I got clouds, flame, paralysis, and I have a file of floods. So it doesn't obscure his sight in any way. Okay. Um, just thinking out loud, I think the two options that seem the best to me are either Potion, Petition, or Blink. Um, I feel like either one of those gives me the highest chance of survival. I've been unlucky. I think the past two times that I've used Potion Petition, I haven't even gotten the Heal Wounds. Heal Wounds might make it so that I live from a bad roll if I get hit, but I'm not sure about that. And so if we deduce that Heal Wounds is not enough... then maybe Blink is the best. Or, I mean, I could step onto this tile and, you know, but I don't know what my ball python is going to do. And then he's not very easy to hit anyway, so it seems unlikely that that would protect me. Yeah, none of these spells seem like they have. I know, dude. We just have to dodge one rock. None of these spells look like they're going to help me against a stone giant with a boulder. Except maybe blink. All right, I'm going to blink. No, wait. Let me think about this. Let me look at him really quickly. Yeah, so it's 45 plus his rock damage. <laughs> That's quite a lot. I got lucky with my blink. Um, and I blinked over here. So now the question is, is there a way for me to get away from this guy? <laughs> I think I potion petition now. I just have to take invisibility again. Don't step on that alarm trap, ball python. Don't do it. All right. No problem. I mean, oh my god, the unseen horror. There's problems everywhere. <laughs> this character is in such dire straits. Every place that we can go is a complete death trap. You think I can take a stone giant if he has no rocks?
probably, right? Like, I can probably just, you know, outrun him and blink away. I really could go back to the main dungeon. I ran into a bit of a difficulty there, too. Man, this is like the most confused dude ever. Normally, the confused orcs aren't really confused, but this time they are legit confused. Here's another question. I wonder at what point I just switch over to wearing some heavier armor. I don't know. My Steam Dragon armor is fine. With five base armor and zero encumbrance. Man, if I could just get some, like, um... Uh, the white ones are okay. And you know what they do? also is that they will make the enemies attack them and not me but yeah their damage isn't great against this guy they are oh look at that i didn't actually think this was possible the large rock hits you but does no damage. Um, I guess he can roll a zero. I just thought... He must have rolled below what my armor class rolled. And I didn't know that that could even be a thing. But it, it worked out. So now he has no rocks. So we are going to... It is unlikely. Yeah, you're right, Snack. I should have just factored... I mean, like, it was hard to factor that in when I was making my decision before about possibilities. Um, but I was thinking... So I had 8 hit points. So really, I had 21... I was rolling up to 21, and he was rolling up to 65. And so I just needed him to roll anything less than, um, you know, 21, and I would have made it. So, E, you're saying pull him back around here and try to get him into the fire? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I want to just see if I can actually confuse him. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like he cares at all about being confused. I could take one hit. Right? Maybe. One. <laughs> Just one. See? That's what the... Um, that's what the imp is good for. Mark is uh, for getting the stone giant to fight it so that I can safely <laughs> make my exit. <laughs> there we go. Now he's confused, at least. I'm throwing javelins. Oh my god, he's not confused anymore. Alright, dude, I, I'm sorry. Please don't pick up a rock and throw it at me. Oh, miscast. Get out of here. Psh. 
he's coming. He's still coming. He decided to step into it. I wonder how many of these I can make. Now, is Lesser Beckoning instantaneous, or does it drag him across these tiles? <laughs> I know, Magic Dart is, is seriously a consideration. I'm going to throw a Javelin, though, because if I can hit him, it'll actually um, do damage. I can also drop a Confuse Cloud right here. Okay, so it teleports, so he won't get hit by that, but um, yeah, that makes sense. I can try to Confuse him so that he just walks into the fire. There we go. Oh my god. He got confused, but he walked through four tiles of fire and came out of his confusion and is looking like he wants to just beat the bejesus out of me, and I'm scared. All right, I'm going to go down here and try to blink away. Okay, that's good. And try to confuse him again. Nope, that's not good. That's not how you do that. There we go. All right. Can you die? Please? Do you think you can die? I'm, I'm just curious. No. This dude will not die. <laughs> but I'll die in my own fire. Unreal. All right, dude. I'm going to I'm going to throw a javelin at you. Another one. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for sure. Oh, good lord. Still no confusion? Come on, man. There you go. <laughs> this is the hardest stone giant I've ever seen. Alright. We're going to get a javelin on you. One time. I, I mean, he's resisting the cloud for sure. I'm just impressed he's just standing there resisting fire. I thought my flames would do damage to this man. <laughs> and they are not. Alright. I'm going to give you Wanda Flame until you come over here. And then I'm going to put down the real flame. And then I'm going to try to confuse you. I'm going to try that again. Oh my god, we got him. And we leveled up. And I'm more in touch with the powers of death. What does that mean? Does it give me a bonus to necromancy or something? Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, woohoo. Oh, it's Harold. Oh, my God. All right. Woohoo, indeed, Mark. You're right. Um, that guy was a real jerk, but we made it. Um... I'm just making sure he's not resistant to poison. His harpoon shot is quite annoying. And he has throwing nets. Uh-oh. I'm held. Alright, he's using all of his nets. Can you get confused? He got confused. Alright. Oh, we just beat him with our axe. All right. All right, Harold. It really is. When you're a Venom Mage, Poison Resist is like, come on, man. All right. We did it. We explored it. 
we finally finished most of this other part of Orc 1. There's some gold back here and some treasure perhaps, but I used my entire wand of digging to get over here, so I'll have to find some more if I want to get that. And we also unlocked some other passageways down into Orc 2, so that's super sweet. All right, everybody. I've got an early start tomorrow, so I'm going to call the stream um, to a close here. But I think I feel like we are actually in a better place than when we began, at least experience level-wise, and um, just progress in the dungeon. I want to thank everyone for coming out and watching me almost die to large rocks, but giving me the advice that I needed to survive. I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll check you next time. Yep, have a good one, everybody. See ya.